So sometimes it's, it's interesting just to sit down to say, let me write a letter to my city. Dot, what would you say to your city? I guess I could say that I consider my heart, my family, that has taken something little, to me it's little, and made it big. And I've learned in the last few week, few days and stuff, how resourceful I've been, how I've helped people that I had. I would never think about nobody but a damn, you gave me the, my microphone. Or you would say, oh yeah, Miss Roll, I, I said to you, Robert, you need to take that and run with that business. And look, we're growing. Take Naima with Dare to Dance, how she's coming along with her dance studio. Or over here, somebody may do modeling. We don't have another modeling session like we had uh, Girls on the Move with Miss, Miss Hughes. You know, as, as I, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to me as I sit here trying to talk to you to remember all of that. Girls on the Move has been, damn. I, I, I don't know, I'm really aging myself, you know, like I'm 75. But you don't know how much you put through your life in 75 years. You never know how much you may have people wanting to do what you do. You know, people call you up and talk about, Miss Stop, what do we do? You ain't here, what do we do next? Carry on doing whatever needs to be done. Uh, my goal is to do something for the school board. Make sure the kids get something done, your kids, my kids. Make sure that the kids get an education. To me, it's not uh, public school, charter school, whatever. School is school. And kids are kids. And kids are here to be taught to make the world a better, better world. When I came along, there was Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camden High and a couple other schools, that's all it was. And look look where we came from. You sit back and you look at the Pony Wilsons. You look back at uh, all the guys now that were Joe Boy Fisher, Itchy Smith. People don't remember that. All those people brought glory and fame to this city. And, and I never did nothing but be notarized, so I did it because I needed to be known. I did it because of stuff, something that I thought we should do to make the city better. To me, ain't nothing better than a Woodrow Wilson and a Cannon High. Ain't nothing no better than they old and we didn't take care of them. If we had did better maintenance to them, we'd have been a lot better off. But we didn't, but that don't mean we can't start now. You know, why are we fighting over what part of Camden High and what part of Wilson we need to save now? Let's get out there and try to save what we can and do the best we can to make it a better, better, make it better. The world is a world where you just wonder, you know, why do we have funerals? It's for the living, they say. Okay. I guess that's a good thing. But it ain't for me, because I'm not here. I don't know what's going to go on. It's for the people who step here behind to make this a better world. If, if I was to leave this world today, there's a number of people that I would like to see if we could have a party. I'll call it a party. I, I, I would love to see my granddaughter, Janelle. I think she was in the twilight of her life. And she would probably say, Grandma, you just as crazy as hell. Doreen would probably say, oh, we could have a party now. We got a great family. We got a great family. We all, we, and all of us, no matter what phase of it, we all crazy. <laughs> to say, I mean, not, I don't mean like, ah, bah, bah, you know. Because we all think of different, different things. My son, strange son, good son, um, keep on pushing. It's come a long way. Forget about some of that old past stuff. Think about the new stuff. It's time for you to stop playing baseball. 
time for you to get out there and teach these other kids. Give them that knowledge you got. Tony has a wealth of baseball knowledge. And instead of every Saturday he out there still trying to be Mr. Home Run, go out there and be Mr. Master. I want a team. I want him to have a baseball team. You know, we all, a lot of people are into basketball, which is good. But Tony has a lot of baseball. We don't think about that. Hey, Tony, let's be that Burley special or the little Burley special. My Dana, stop being a worry ward. Worry, worry, she worries, she worries a lot. Let it go. You do dumb what you can. Never was a homemaker, never will be. I never I never taught her those kind of things in life. Knowledge, all that. Quick as a whistle. Learn how to cook now. You know, she probably never gonna have kids. Take your kids but, uh, to all the kids. Do things with them. Which I think she's trying to come around and do. But this is so this is so much that we need to learn and need to know. And and like I look at Tony and not because she's my grandchild, it's because of the fact that she's out here trying to help kids with autism. Robert, I swear if 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 it wasn't that I knew some of the people I know, I don't know what I would do physically. And what do a lot of these other people out here do physically that for people to help them get somewhere. It's, or the last, the last, I'll just say the last week is this has been a glorious time. I had your grandmother here yesterday. We sit in here and cut the full her, Mercy Doors, Nisi, Rosie. I mean, you're here. You see, my family's here. People calling. And it's just a glorious time. I, I mean, I have no regrets. If the Lord takes me right now, I have no regrets. Because I know, I know, deep within my heart, I've done the best I can. All I would say is to people, you know, don't cry for me. Say, Mr. Dad always wanted us to take something by the hand and have another wish come true. You know, I always say, you know, the Lord brought me this far, you ain't gonna let me down. Hang, hang on to it. Hang on to God's unchanging hands. If we hang on to God's unchanging hands, it'll be a better one. And we want to say that today, the last of this interview, this is just, we're going to break for intermission. And we'll be back soon to give you another phase. Peace and love. And as Robert Burley would say, it ain't easy.